This is B Sports in St. Johns, Michigan. Uh, today we're looking at the 2018-2175 Pro V. Uh, a lot of people's personal favorite boat. This boat has lots of fishing options. Uh, just a really, really nice overall boat. Uh, here on the front, uh, you do have your Shorelander trailer, so you get your non-marking bow roller and your swing tongue for some for storage. This boat, uh, I mean, just the outside of it looks phenomenal. Really nice graphics. Uh, the raised black Lund logo puts really nice finishing touch with the chrome. Uh, you do get the diamond plate on your trailer. The upgraded rims just brings the whole boat and trailer together. And you do have your uh, roller load guide. So on this trailer, uh, you do have LED lights, um, pretty much standard with all the uh, Shorelander trailers. Back here you do have your ladder, which is nice, it's always on your boat, stows away easily, easily used, step right up into it. Um, on this boat you do have your integrated uh, tie down system so pretty simple just hook it on there uh, when you're done with it it just retracts and stows away so really nice feature there um, on the back you do have your 15 horse mercury four stroke pro kicker and uh, since you can never have too much horsepower on a boat the uh, the, the big one uh, 350 mercury Verado uh, can't really get any better than that. This thing is phenomenal. Um, can pretty much go in any water you want with this boat. Uh, it's going to get you anywhere you want really fast. So, uh, just phenomenal motor. Um, really quiet for a 350. Good gas mileage. Uh, just overall really nice. So, we'll go up on the inside and take a look. Okay, so this boat does come with your pedestal on the front, a nice big spot for whatever you want to put on the front here, trolling motor, uh, fish finder, whatever it is. You got a little door here for some storage. You got your uh, tilt and um, trolling motor plug, motor tilt and uh, some LED lights here on the front. There is another one on the other side, identical. And you also have all your bar bow cargo nets on each side. Uh, on this side, as far as storage goes, really good size storage there. You can fit your cover in there, whatever else. Big storage compartment. Same on the right side. And behind your storage, you have your bait well. Good to have, put some minnows in there. And underneath your bait well, you have your front live well. So, nice up here for a person fishing on the bow. Other side, have another live well here. cup holders, etc. And another storage unit which is in the front of your console. Right here. Let's take a step back. We'll look at your rod storage. Tons of rod storage. You can fit lots of fishing poles in here. Um, can fit your onboard chargers, whatever you want to in here, uh, for your batteries, for your trolling motor, and fish finder. So, lots of storage in there. Sit in the captain's chair here. Nice upgraded captain's chair. 
So here you got your gauges. You got your miles per hour gauge, your fuel gauge, trim, tachometer, down here, maybe a Rockford Fosgate uh, head unit. Um, you can go Bluetooth with this, uh, AM, FM. You can do USB, auxiliary, all that good stuff. So here you have a little spot for some uh, I don't know, phone, wallet, whatever. This is going to be your 12 volt plug. Another 12 volt plug there for your cell phone. Nice spot here for and lots of different stuff you can fit in there. Then all your switches. So um, and I won't go through all of them, but I mean, you have your master power switch, lots of light switches, your bilge, um, and then your, your, your fill for your uh, live wells, um, horn, it's a whole bunch of different stuff. Down here you do have your auxiliary and USB plugs, and another 12 volt plug down there as well. So really nice setup here in the console. You have your under, under console storage little drawer that pulls out which is nice and you also have another drawer there so lots of lots of places to put stuff in here uh, another console here that opens up with really big storage on this side you have your two controls one for your kicker one for your regular motor they are integrated in turning so if you turn your main motor um, the kicker will turn it as well. Here you have another storage unit on the side. You do have a bimini top with this one. Uh, there is a hider, so this one does kind of sit along the edge of your boat, but does go underneath there. Um, this thing here actually flips up so you can uh, uh, access the bimini top. On this side, you have some drawers that can pull out. Really nice feature there. Actually, this one here also pulls out for drawers for your tackle. And these also open up. Used for storage. Probably put a fishing pole in there if you wanted to. On the back here. You have your two door live well, huge live well, bait bucket, nice back here. You have your power steering pump there. This does come with power steering with the 350. You get your battery charger back there and just a spot for a little more storage as well. So for your in floor storage, this here does lift up. You have to pull it out and you can access your batteries for your crank batteries. Um, if you ever have a problem with those, easy to get to. And here, you have your wash down system. So you can attach a hose to it and spray it down. So, um, once again, this is the 2018 2175 Pro V. Uh, this boat is 21 foot 10 inches. Overall, has a 102 inch beam. Can fit the max of a 350 on this boat. Just an awesome boat. Um, great for fishing, big water. Uh, if you got family, you can take the family out on it. Uh, just a really nice overall boat. If you have any questions, you can give us a call at 800 233 7720 or visit our website at www dot bees dash sports dot com